In this question, it is given that Fourier transform of signal xt is equal to x omega and we need to find the Fourier transform of signal yt which is equal to x2t minus 3. So it is clear that we are performing multiple operations on signal xt to get signal yt and we know Fourier transform of xt is equal to x omega. So we can obtain the Fourier transform of yt in terms of x omega by using the properties of Fourier transform. So let's see how we can solve this question. It is given that time domain signal xt is having the Fourier transform equal to x omega and time domain signal yt is equal to x 2t minus 3 and let's say it is having the Fourier transform equal to y omega so we are required to calculate y omega we will understand the method number one to get the answer in this method number one we will first perform the time shifting operation and then we will perform the time scaling operation because here you can see we are getting signal yt after performing the time shifting and time scaling operations on signal xt and with every operation we will perform on xt x omega will change accordingly for this we will use the properties i have explained in the previous lectures so let's move to the method number one we will start from the scratch we are having signal xt and we want x2t minus 3 so let's perform the operation known as time shifting operation and we will perform the right shifting by 3. So we will have xt minus 3. We are performing the time shifting operation with respect to t because t is the independent variable. You can see signal xt is the function of time t. Therefore all the operations on time will be performed with respect to t. You cannot perform the shifting operation with respect to 2t because 2t is not the independent variable. So this is one important point and this point we have discussed a lot in the basic lectures. After this we will perform the next operation which is time scaling operation and we will scale the time by 2. So we will have x 2t minus 3. And again we have performed the scaling operation with respect to time t only. Now we are done with the operations and now we will modify our Fourier transform accordingly. Initially for signal xt we are having the Fourier transform x omega and we know after performing the time shifting the Fourier transform x omega will get multiplied by e power minus j omega 3. After this time scaling operation will take place and the Fourier transform will become 1 over mod 2 x omega by 2 multiplied to e power minus j omega by 2 multiplied to 3 or we can write the Fourier transform y omega is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied to x omega by 2 multiplied to e power minus j omega 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5 so this is the answer this is the Fourier transform of signal yt and now we will move forward to the method number 2 in method number 2 we will perform the time scaling operation first and then we will perform the time shifting operation so we will start from the scratch we are having signal xt and we want signal x2t minus 3. So let's perform the time scaling operation. We will scale the time by 2. So we have x2t. Now we will perform the next operation which is time shifting operation. Now here you have to be a little bit cautious. I told you every operation we perform is with respect to the independent variable and we are having the independent variable equal to t not 2t so we will separate t and then we will perform the shifting by 1.5 so that when you open the bracket you are having x2t minus 3 now we will write down 
the Fourier transforms for all the three signals. Last signal is signal yt. Initially we are having xt with Fourier transform x omega and after time scaling we are having 1 over mod 2 mod 2 is equal to 2 signal x omega by 2. Now we will write down the Fourier transform after time shifting operation and we know after time shifting operation by 1.5 e power minus j omega 1.5 will be multiplied to the Fourier transform we had after time scaling operation and this Fourier transform is same as this Fourier transform so this is equal to y omega and this is our answer so you can see it is very easy to get the Fourier transform if you know the basics if you know how to perform the multiple operations and the properties of Fourier transform now it is time for the homework problem. In this homework problem, signal xt is having the Fourier transform x omega and there is signal yt which is equal to x minus 3t plus 9 and you need to find the Fourier transform of yt which is equal to y omega. Again, you are having the multiple transformations and you have to proceed in the same way. You can follow either method 1 or method 2, you will get the same answer. So once you have your answer, don't forget to post in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.